there church i hope that you are keeping well and keeping safe and also being super faith-filled and encouraged by the various different words that we are hearing this prayer and fasting week that we are right in the middle of and today i am super excited to get to encourage you following in the theme from first corinthians 15 58 about standing on the god who is and i want to encourage you to stand on the god who is the lord of hosts Jehovah Sabaoth. Now, Jehovah Sabaoth is such a funny word to say, Sabaoth, Sabaoth, but it really means the Lord of hosts. And we're reading this morning from Isaiah 44, verses 6, which says, For the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, says this, I am the first and I am the last, and there is no God besides me. So the Lord of hosts or Jehovah Sabaoth really means that he is the God that never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It means that he has all power over all earths, over all heavens, over the things that we can see and the things that we can't see. How exciting is that though, that he has power over the things that you can't see as well as the things that we can see? <laughs> It means that he is the supernatural one. He goes above what we see, what we can think and believe, you know, the normal that we see, and he works and operates above all of that. And it also means that he is our warrior God. So he's always fighting for us. And he actually has his angels that are fighting on our behalf. And guess what? He is never defeated, which we can be really, really encouraged by. <laughs> and so looking at all of this about who God is as Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, what does it mean to us? It means that we can trust in him. We can trust in him because he never fails and he doesn't ever want to fail us and he's never failed before and he won't fail ever again. He is a faithful God. It also means that we can relax in him we can relax in him knowing that he is always fighting for us because he is Jehovah Sabaoth and because he is the warrior one. We can relax, put our faith in him and know that he is in control of our situation when we surrender it over to him. So I hope that you're really encouraged by that and that today you will trust in the Lord of hosts, the one who is Jehovah Sabaoth. Mm -hmm.